As you might know, I have a uh, history of being a plant killer. So <laughs> I've never really had plants last that long. I usually put them in and uh, they're, they're usually melted back and dead and floating around in fragments in the tank in a, in a very short while. But for some reason, the plants in this tank are actually lasting. And uh, it, uh, I, I've stepped back and took a look at what is behind why this time my plants are not dying and in an effort to be able to isolate and maybe strengthen that. So um, let's talk about how I might be able to stop being a plant killer. So <laughs> So there's about four or five factors, I think, that are different this time. In the past, I would just go out, buy some plants, shove them into the substrate, and then keep my fingers crossed and hope that the waste of the fish is going to be enough to really keep those plants you know, hardy and growing. And that has not worked out that well. This time, it's different, and, it, and, and these are the things that are different from what I was doing before. First off, I, I, I purchased a, a plant-specific substrate, a flora substrate, that is on the outsides of this aquarium, on the outsides, because I didn't want to uh, plant in sand. I, I've heard people have had success with sand. I didn't necessarily like that idea, so I bought some plant-specific substrate, about 20 pounds of it, and put 10 pounds on each side of the aquarium where I'm putting in the plants that require being in the substrate. Uh, that'd be point number one. Point number two is I think I've started off with a, a more hardy type of plant. There are different kinds of plants out there I know and, and the plants in general, I believe based on who's providing with the plants can be hardy or a bit weak and I think I've gotten a hold of some hardy plants. Not just the plants in general, but also the specific types of plants are plants that are a, a bit uh, more resistant to uh, plant killers like myself. So good substrate, hardy plants. The other thing in this project is, uh, is, is using fertilizers. I haven't used fertilizers in the past. Again, I've relied on just the waste of the fish. And in this case, I'm using uh, the, the Easy Green, the pump, the Easy Green, the co-op, Easy Green pump, uh, all in one fertilizer. And I've, I've, I've peppered in the substrate some of these uh, uh, Easy Root tabs, the Easy Root tabs. So I'm using fertilizer. You can see these. You just shove them into the substrate, and they look like, they look like cold, cold, you know, like NyQuil cold capsules, right? So, and, and probably, and, and, and this could be making a very significant difference, is I have a, a light that is plant specific. And that's the, this, this uh, LED, this easy LED from Aquarium Co-op, which allows me to adjust it to the level that I want. And I'm running it uh, longer than I would normally run lights. Uh, with my cichlids and stuff, I usually keep them relaxing and lights off, except for a few hours in the morning, a few hours at night. I'm running uh, this light a bit longer. So uh, between the use of the plant-specific LED light, uh, fertilizers, plant-specific substrate, and starting off with a, a hardier plant, a better quality plant, I think, I think my days of serial killing plants might be over. So. <laughs> we'll see. Fingers crossed. I'm going to go ahead and put some more in. I've got uh, some crypts and a dwarf type of plant. Looks like a little bit like a sword. I'll put the names underneath the video of what these are. And I'll include some links to these, uh, to these products that I've mentioned uh, in the comment section underneath the video. Uh, sometimes if I put them in the description, the links don't work. So I'll, I'll put them in the comment section, okay? So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these in, uh, add even, e even a little more green to the tank, and uh, keep this project going.
All right, thank you for your support, your encouragement, your tips, and let's talk about this and a whole lot more on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream at 11 o'clock central. That's an hour of uh, a lot of fish fun with some great fish keepers. I uh, hope to see you there. And if you'd like to support uh, future content creation, consider becoming a monthly Patreon supporter uh, that uh, starts for as little as $3 a month, and the details are in the description. Thank you, my friends. You're the best, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.